In this problem, we will find the depreciation rate for a problem in which we're given the purchase price of an asset and the salvage value. Pause the video, read the problem, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. So you may recognize some of these numbers from previous problems uh, that we've solved in the videos related to depreciation. So again, we see the value of the purchase price of this particular asset as $150,000. And recalling back to the straight line depreciation problem that we did, we have again the salvage value of $25,000. Now, I just take a moment to recap. If we graph the book value versus time under straight line depreciation, recall that the value of the asset declines like this. And we calculated essentially the slope of this line by knowing a purchase price and knowing a salvage value at some time in the future. We also solved a problem using declining balance depreciation. And again, if we look at book value versus time, in this instance, we have a line that de declines at a constant rate. In this problem, we kind of have both things to deal with. We're given a specific salvage value at some point in the future, but we're told that we have to use some declining balance depreciation rate to arrive at that number. So what we're trying to do in this problem, right, so in this problem, we have the same idea, book value versus time, and we're told after 10 years, we go from $150,000 value to $25,000 as a salvage value. So we have a starting point, we have an ending point at 10 years, we know that the shape of the loss in value will look something like this. And the question asks, what is little d? So what is the depreciation rate that allows us to, at the end of 10 years, have a book value of exactly $25,000? Well, it's a good question. It really becomes more of a math problem than an engineering economics or an accounting problem. But um, perhaps the best place to start is if we look back to our formula for the book value at the end of year N, recall that that formula was the purchase price times one minus D to the N. Now, if I think about this for a second, I know that at the end of 10 years, in other words, the book value at the end of 10 is, in this problem, the salvage value. Now, sometimes in engineering economics, we don't know what the salvage value would be. And in fact, in real life, most of the time, we don't know the salvage value. So sometimes we use some type of depreciation method as an estimate for what the salvage value will be. This particular problem is kind of the reverse. We're given a salvage value and asked what's the depreciation rate. For the most part, if we're doing real accounting in Canada, uh, we wouldn't be solving for a depreciation rate. We'd be given a rate based on the class of asset that this is. However, uh, it makes for a good problem for uh, engineering and technical students uh, to solve just to make sure that you're up on your math and also some of your logic. So if I assume that the book value in this instance is equal to the salvage value, let's say at year 10. And so in other words, I could rewrite the formula as simply the salvage value is equal to the purchase price times one minus D to the N. Rearranging that, I have S over P is one minus D to the N, uh, trying to solve for D, 
the easiest way to, to isolate this term is to raise both sides to the power of 1 over n, or the nth root, I could write it like this, s over p to the nth root is equal to 1 plus d. I'm getting close, so now, I ha now if I bring the, the 1 to the other side of the equation, I have square root of s over p to the n minus 1 equals, sorry, it should be minus d. Sorry about that. That is 1 minus d. And then multiplying through by minus 1, simply have 1 minus the nth root of s over p is equal to d. So now I know if I'm given a salvage value, given an, an asset's purchase price, and if I know the number of years between these two values, then I can solve for the rate that gives me the solution to the problem. Now, maybe I'll just come over here. Let's plug the numbers in and see what we get for this problem. So 1 minus the tenth root of 25,000 divided by 150,000 is equal to D. Make sure you know how to do this on your calculator. Right, so I'm going to do 25,000 divided by 150,000, and then I'll use the, um, you can use the uh, 1 over, to the power, y to the 1 over x button, uh, or maybe you have an nth root button, so you use that on, button on your calculator, and you should arrive at a number, d is equal to 0 0.164, or 16.4%. So the solution to the problem is that a depreciation rate of 16.4% takes me from a book value of 150,000 at time t equal to zero to a book value of exactly 25,000 at the end of year 10.